Hello guys, my name is Bappi Ahmed and welcome to this course of JAX. Uh, actually, uh, in this course, I'm going to be your instructor and uh, through this course, we'll be learning uh, the each and every components of JAX. So in this video, I'm going to uh, discuss about the introduction of the JAX. Okay, so first of all, we need to know what is JAX, okay? And why we use JAX, because already we have, you can say, TensorFlow and PyTorch. Why researchers uh, have implemented this JAX, okay? And uh, and then uh, I will be showing you uh, the basics operation of the JAX, okay? Uh, then uh, you can say, we'll be also, you can say, implementing um, some neural network, okay, from scratch by using the JAX library, so that you will be uh, able to working with this uh, JAX library, okay, whenever you are working with the deep learning. So uh, first of all, let's uh, talk about uh, what is JAX, okay? So uh, JAX is nothing but, uh, it's, a, you can say, a deep learning framework written by Google, okay? Uh, and uh, if I talk about this uh, JAX, you can say brought this uh, AutoGrad and XLA, okay, uh, for this higher performance numerical computing in this machine learning research, okay. Uh, why? Uh, because internally, you can say uh, this JAX uses these kinds of, you can say, AutoGrad. AutoGrad means like, uh, I think you know, uh, automatic gradient calculation, okay. So it has the automatic gradient calculation function, so you don't have to write uh, I mean, code for that, uh, for uh, you can say calculating the gradient and you can say derivative, okay, of a function. So you can use that function, okay, and it is the capability and it has the capability, okay, uh, you can say uh, working with any kinds of, you can say, uh, uh, you can say uh, mathematical function, okay. Uh, so if you give any kinds of mathematical function, so it will uh, calculate the, uh, you can say gradient for you. And, and it also uses this, you can say, uh, XLA, that means accelerated linear algebra, you can say, uh, execution engine uh, you can say for uh, transforming you can say any kinds of uh, python and numpy uh, programs uh, like uh, differentiative and vectorize okay parallelize okay uh, in this you can say gpu and tpu and many more uh, so here is the you can say official uh, github of jax okay so if i click on that uh, so see uh, that's the official you can say uh, jax uh, github okay so you can refer uh, like uh, you can see like how they have written the code so they have like uh, you, you can say uh, written everything uh, they have written everything about the jacks okay so you can uh, also refer this official you can say github and uh, there is also official you can say this uh, documentation of this jacks so uh, if you want to learn you can say jacks in depth okay uh, because by referring some uh, because by referring some course okay uh, you cannot uh, get the whole idea okay uh, because uh, in a uh, library there are lots of things okay uh, so you have to explore it by your own so you can directly use this documentation because uh, whatever i'm going to teach you okay so i will be referring most of the things uh, from this you can say documentation itself okay so here uh, they have uh, you can say written each and everything like uh, how you can work with this jacks okay uh, and uh, this installation process and all the things like they have given okay uh, so you can refer that okay if you want to learn it in depth okay so you can refer that otherwise like what are the things we are going to learn okay so that would be uh, i think um, measured, uh, most of the time you will be using those are the function okay so yes uh, it was the documentation of the jax uh, now let's see uh, you can say uh, this uh, basic introduction of jax okay so here i have already shown you uh, this uh, jax uses this xla okay xla that means accelerated linear algebra you can say uh, it's a kind of you can say comp compiler based uh, algebra execution engine okay so uh, it uses a backend okay uh, that powers the you can say machine learning frameworks like uh, you can say TensorFlow and JAX, okay. So whenever you are uh, working with the JAX, okay, you are working with this, you can say um, mathematical operation, like most of the time we work with this linear algebra kinds of thing, okay. So this XLA help us to, you can say, execu uh, executing this kinds of uh, mathematical function, okay. Uh, and very fast so that's why uh, it uses this uh, algebra execution engine uh, you can say in the back end and there are two libraries uh, uses this you can say xla like this tensorflow and jax and uh, and also uh, they are uh, optimized you can say on various devices like you can say cpu and gpus and tpus okay so you can uh, use this you can say um, uh, Jax, okay, in your CPU, GPU, and uh, the TPU as well. So uh, if I talk about what is Jax, okay, Jax is nothing but uh, it's a it's a NumPy, okay, it's a NumPy library. So I think you have worked with the NumPy library, uh, but uh, in NumPy, what happens? So in NumPy, you cannot directly use uh, you can say use your GPU whenever you are executing your you can say code, but uh, 
uh, in this jacks okay so it is uh, already optimized with this gpu and tpu so whenever you are working with the jacks library so you can directly use your gpu and tpu okay whenever you are executing any kinds of you can say uh, computation here okay so that is there was the like difference uh there is like nothing uh so it's a kind of actually um middle level framework researcher has already researcher have already implemented uh, for their research purposes okay because uh most of the time in deep learning we work with this you can say gpu and tpu so we cannot directly use the cpu there okay so if you are working with the numpy so it will occupy your cpu and if you are working with this you can say jack so it will occupy your uh, it can occupy your cpu also gpu also and tpu also okay so this uh, this is uh, kinds of you can say optimized with your hardware's and uh, and i think you have already uh, probably heard of this uh, tensorflow and pytors okay and maybe also this you can say mxnet so uh, these are also you can say uh, machine learning frameworks okay uh, and uh, and uh, and we're gonna learn this uh you can say kinds of new block here okay which is like google's uh, jacks you can talk about okay because it has been implemented by google and over the and over the last two years okay this uh, jax has been you can say taking the deep learning resource okay by storm because it is you can say facilitating the implementation of this uh, google's uh, google so you can say vision term transformer uh, you can say this vit and the powering research at deep mind okay because this uh, jax library mostly used by this you can say uh, deep minds engineer okay uh, because they have implemented that so their research purposes they will be using this kinds of jax you can say library okay for their research purposes so uh, you can say at the deep mind uh, it is like very popular okay if i talk about and uh, and uh, and now let's talk about some exciting thing uh, uh, about this jax okay so um, uh, so if i talk about this uh, jax offer you can say for main uh, you can say function uh, to make it you can say efficient whenever you are using uh, you can say deep learning workloads okay so what are the four transformation uh, so let's uh, talk about one by one so the first one is like grad okay so i think you know okay already about the grad so if you don't know don't worry i will be showing you okay whenever we'll be uh, starting our you can say uh, uh coding part okay i will be showing you uh, how to calculate the grad uh that means the gradient so so the grad means like uh, it can automatically you can say differentiate your uh function okay uh you can say during back, back, back propagation and it can also uh, do the you can say forward propagation okay now whenever you will be working with this neural network so that is the you can say uh thing okay uh, which can do that okay uh, you can say in an auto way so you don't have to write any kinds of code for that so see here uh, here i have uh, done some experiments so you can see uh, by just you can see one line of code you can you can say uh, calculate your gradient here okay very easily uh, so uh, you don't have to write you can say uh, more logic here so if you call this grad function from this jacks okay so if you see uh, there is a you can say tan h function okay i have kept and there are some you can say logic uh, i have applied okay uh, so if, now if i pass this tanh function to my grad you can say uh, you can say function so what it will do it will you can say uh, calculate the gradient for you so if you give any number okay uh, if you give any number uh, so so it will like calculate the slope okay of this point so it's like quite you can say uh, so it is uh, you can say quite interesting thing okay uh, so you just calling one function called grad and you are putting your function and it is just calculating your gradient here okay so it is like quite good and uh, the number uh, two is like the jit function okay uh, so what is jit function so it can optimize your you can say uh, simple function okay to run it like uh, you can say more efficiently uh, suppose you have you can say uh, one uh, python function just simple python function so uh, if you want to run it you can say more efficiently like uh, uh, if you want to uh, execute in a more fast way so you can use this jit okay uh, so it can be also you can say uh, use used as a decorator okay on top of your you can say function uh, so if you just see here i have uh, kept you can see one function uh, called so this is the function and here some calculation is going on so uh, so see here what i am doing uh, first of all i am uh, passing through the jit okay uh, passing through the jit uh, and i'm calling the function and i'm also calculating the time okay so see first of all when i'm done the experiment with the you can say jit function so it took around you can say almost 32.9 micro uh, 
uh, micro, micro, microsecond per you can say loop but when i use the we can say normal function okay when i call the uh, just just a normal function here uh, so it took uh, you can say almost 4.7 uh, uh, for uh, so it took almost you can say 4.71 um, millisecond per loop okay so there is the quite you can say time difference so you can uh, think about okay so by using this uh, jacks okay you can uh, you can execute any kinds of normal python function okay uh, in a optimized way in a, in a efficient way also then uh, there is another function called the vmap okay uh, so that maps the function across the dimension okay so if you are using the vmap here so you don't uh, you don't have to care about so you you don't have to care about your you can say dimension okay uh, uh, because we have already seen if we uh, if you are working with this tensor flow so you have to care about your dimension okay so if you want to like uh, pass your images okay so you have to handle the dimension but in that okay so you don't have to like care about uh, your dimension okay so it will automatically handle your dimension here so yeah so that is like uh, quite like you can say uh, useful function called vmap and there is another uh, you can say function called pmap okay so what this uh, pmap does uh, so pmap you actually uh, it process you can say across the multiple processor okay uh, because uh, whenever you were working with, with this deep learning so what will happen so you will have a lots of calculation at the end okay but if you uh, are you can see utilizing just to, you can say one course okay if you are not dividing your you can say task uh, to the multiple cores so your you can say calculation uh you can say process would be very slow so what this pmap does okay so whenever you are doing any calculation so it can you can say uh, distribute your uh you can say working progress to multiple uh you can say uh, processor in, in your gpu okay like uh, multi multi gpu system uh, it can support so see uh, there are some you can say operation i have done so i have uh, put it inside the pmap function okay so it is like uh, distributing your you can say uh, working progress to many you can say processor so yeah it is like utilizing your multi gpu you can say technique here so yes uh, so now let's talk about what are the difference between this uh, spiders tensorflow and this jax okay so if i talk about this uh, jax versus spiders so uh, so JAX is like very nearest to this, you can say PyTors, uh, but because their main purpose is to use this NumPy, okay, with the GPU and TPU, uh, but uh, JAX functionality actually uh, a bit, you can say, but this JAX functionality is quite, you can say low level, lower level here. Okay, uh, but if I talk about this uh, PyTors functionality, that is quite, you can say high level. Okay, so um, you can like, you can say uh, easily work with this PyTors. Okay, you can understand the PyTors code very easily. That is quite high level. But uh, if I talk about the JAX, so, okay, so it is like uh, not a very, you can say lower level, but it's kind of, you can say medium level, you can say, uh, uh, library okay if i talk about and uh, there is you can say another difference okay in inside the pytors you will be getting the pretend uh you can say uh, layers okay pretend layers and pretend networks and uh, also this you can say data loader okay uh, then uh, this uh, portability and deployment you can say destination but inside this jax okay you won't you won't be getting anything okay so you have to like uh, you can say create it from scratch or otherwise like you have to use uh, you have to you have to get help from this you can say pytorch and tensorflow mm -hmm. so now let's talk about the jax versus tensorflow because uh, because this jax and tensorflow are both uh, written by google okay google itself and uh, and and if i talk about from the initial you can say experimentation so zax seems like you can say much easier to develop okay uh, with compared to with compared to you can say this tensor flow uh, because uh, this is you can say if i talk about the tensor flow uh, that is like quite a lower level you can say pi but uh, jax is you can say kinds of you can say uh, medium level api okay so it is like easy to develop and uh, when this you can say keras came okay uh, so keras uses this tensorflow in the back end so this uh, tensorflow also got famous uh, okay because uh, people are being used this kinds of you can say keras high level api for implementing any kinds of you can say deep learning network okay so that was like uh, you can say difference between this spiders and this tensorflow okay with the jacks and uh, so we have like seen the advantage of jacks okay so some disadvantages also there okay inside the jacks uh, so some dis disadvantages are also there inside jacks okay so the major disadvantage is like there is no data loader okay so you have to implement it okay by your by your own and otherwise like you can uh, you can say borrow the you can say tensorflow or pytorch functionality here and uh, 
here you, you cannot find the higher level uh, model abstraction okay then the deployment uh, portability okay so you'll be getting in the jacks and uh, now let's talk about when should you use the jacks okay so uh, actually uh, whenever you are developing something so you can directly use this you can say Python and you can say tensorflow okay these are quite like you can say good framework uh, nowadays but uh, if you are interested in research okay and if you're uh, working with this research sector so you can use this jax okay uh, in that sector because uh, because researcher is being used this jack library jax library okay in their research purposes only so if you are thinking like you were you will be doing research okay so you can use this into the JAX library. Otherwise, like if you are like uh, considering for developing something, so you can use this, you, you can say the TensorFlow and Pytors. So yes, uh, so that was like, uh, you can say briefly, so that was like, you can say small introduction of the JAX library. And I think now we got that. Okay, so what is JAX library actually? Next, in the next video, we'll be seeing the basics, uh, some, some of the basics of this JAX, okay, JAX operation, we'll be uh, comparing with the NumPy, okay. And we'll be like, uh, starting our you can see coding part okay so uh, i think you have liked that okay and stay with me actually we'll be learning a lot okay through this through that course so uh, this was all about this uh, jackson interaction okay so let's meet at the next class uh, so thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time